Ladies and gentlemen, hands together for Gavin Jones. Can everybody hear me without that microphone? Yeah. Thank you. I, I'll probably go down a little bit of a different track to uh, what Roz did. I, I just want to acknowledge the fact that four years ago I stood out in the other room and I uh, was as nervous as hell and didn't know what, I, what to expect if I was uh, elected in, but uh, it's been a very good learning curve. And um, I said back then, I watched the video before I come in of what I said, and uh, I said that I would fight, represent the uh, people and all that sort of stuff. I certainly do. I represent uh, Division 2 and also Division 1. I work really closely with Roz and all the other councillors. But I also, I have a regional view and I, I like to think that everything that we do is a benefit to the whole region, and especially with the roads portfolio. Uh, it was a hell of a fight when we got in and I said to people when I first got elected, I said, the road, I'm not here to defend council, the road network was an absolute shambles. I will say, and I'm very confident in saying this, and some people may disagree, but the road network has improved dramatically in the last two years, and it, it took two years to get a process in place, and we had to fight and changing the staff and all that sort of stuff, but as we're progressing in the next four years, we'll continue down that track and we'll keep working and all that sort of stuff. I also said that I was aware that you people pay my wage, and I actually work for you. Nothing's changed, and it's more relevant now to uh, after four years to understand that I work for you people, you pay your rates, you pay my wage, you want an investment. So when I make decisions, I said that I use common sense, I still try to do that. Um, <coughs> I, I said I, I made a commitment that I'd always try and get back to you guys if you rang me or something like that, I'd try and answer you and I think 97, 98% of the time that I have got back to everybody and if I didn't get back to you within one or two days, it was always I'd get, if I didn't know the answer, but always get somebody else to contact you. So, as a councillor, I'm, I'm extremely uh, pleased with the fact that we were unopposed, both Roz and I, because it is, I don't like to go around and tell people what you do and speak about yourself. That's not me, and I'm, you know, it's difficult to stand up here and tell you what we've done. And we've, done a, we've done a lot of stuff. Um, you know, we've made decisions in the last four years that haven't pleased everybody, and we'll continue to do it in the next four years, but when we make decisions, we think we are making the right decision for the whole region. I work with some people that struggle with that, that uh, the divisions they represent takes priority, but uh, anyway, that's my, my issue. I've got to work with those people and we, we just, everyone's opinion is important. So pretty much just finishing up, look, thank you very much. It's been a privilege to represent you for four years. I'm very honoured to go another four years. And like Roz said, if there's any issues, just ring me. Um, I won't tell you a lie. I've never told anybody that's rang me or a discussion that I've had. I've never lied to you. You may not what, like what I've told you, but it's always been the honest truth, and I'll continue to do that. And uh, I know that I haven't got the whole support of it. <coughs> when they say we're in on the pose, I know not everybody agrees with me or likes me or anything like that, but that's lie. You deal with the majority and you, you try and represent the majority as best you can and, and make decisions for the betterment for the whole region. So all I can say is good luck with the election for the mayor. I hope you're back the winner and uh, we'll see you in the next four years. Thank you very much.